Welcome back to Let's Play Hot Wheels Beat That. So, I still don't know how to approach this issue. I'm trying to unlock other cars. This is just one car we don't know how to get, essentially. I've done basically everything I can think of. These really seem to do things related to rotations and whatnot. Just doing ridiculous jumps and the like. Yet, yeah, we've already seen that this car is so touchy. When we do ridiculous things here on the big jump, it doesn't really make a difference. So it's unlocking things, it feels like. Well, I'll give it a couple more tries. If you don't have anything after this, though, instead of spending like another episode entirely trying to unlock stuff like this, I might just leave it like that. Ah! Wow, that also actually landed properly. I basically just have to hope that it lands right, too, because there's not really anything I can do. I wish it didn't take me so long to get to that jump. I'm using Note to entertain you while we're waiting to get back to the part. Notice that timer in the bottom right corner is going at a pretty, pretty realistic speed. If you look in that video where that was moving with ridiculous rotational speed, you notice that whenever it landed a jump, all of a sudden the timer would essentially freeze. I believe what was happening was the car was supposed to be moving extremely fast, but instead of the video playing faster to make it look like it's moving faster, the timer simply slowed down. I think what happens in this game is if you're going so fast the game can't actually make the video go any faster, it'll just make the timer go slower. The thing is, I don't have any... well, I don't know. I don't really have much opportunity to fix myself. It takes the car so long to slow down from that rotation. So good, that is. So good, which I guess so fast and show up in this guy. Huh. Well, we saw kind of a clone of so fast at one point. As a cameo, I guess. Ah. I'm trying to stop that rotation as soon as possible so I can at least have a hope of adjusting to fix myself, but it's just not working out that way. Ah, it's close. I am kind of curious if there are a few occasions where I unlocked a car not actually doing something in one particular chunk, but by making the Hot Wheels logo Palpitate a bunch. I don't wonder if that was it instead. I'll actually do. Okay, so the car's. I just like I'm still doing ridiculous stuff. I'm curious if the Hot Wheels logo can be. Hyperactive is some head towards some other kind of luck car, but it doesn't feel like that's the case. I don't know if it has anything to do with anything, for that matter. Apparently not. Oh, it's a good time, apparently. I also wonder if getting all, like, a maximum number of red steering wheels would be something that would get you out of the car, but I have no idea. It doesn't seem stage specific, unlike what some people say. I don't know where I would have any bigger, better jumps. I don't remember any big jumps on that one. There is one big jump on this one, I guess. I don't know where, where I would ever get a be better jump than here, though. We're up five minutes into this episode. I just don't see why I would try more here. There are other levels that I haven't locked any cars on, so I doubt it's tied to which level you're on. Um, 
I'll try a small number of weird things again. If nothing happens though, I'll just cave and unlock the last car through force, so to speak. But it would be nice to unlock everything since I unlock nearly everything. It's kind of weird too, because sometimes I, the Hawkers logo doesn't seem to care that I'm landing incredible things. Like just now, it's not reacting. Ah! I think if I, I don't know, if I rotate forward just a little bit more, I don't know if I would have actually be able to land there or not, because I don't know if pressing up will actually rotate me forward or not. See, this time it does. It's this one particular spot in one particular place. Oh, this player like, suddenly starts freaking out. I don't know why. Does it do that anywhere else? If I go here. Does it like I start freaking out here? Now it does. It's only once I do a certain amount. Although it stopped afterwards too. Ah. Okay, start again. I don't know what determines how much it shakes. What? Okay. Oh. Come on now. I'm rotating on these. Nope. So it's like only starts. Doing us some tricks. Okay. Don't know how it happened. But we did it. No idea what did that. Thanks, Danny, I guess. Oh! Maybe it was for doing a ton of tricks on one track. Huh. Might just be coincidence, maybe not. Yeah, for getting a gold steering wheel. Jeez. So it doesn't max out on how many you did, though, like it did, as it did in the original Star Trek Driver. It's kind of cool. Okay. So who was the last car we unlocked in that case? Whoever this is, somebody in a purple car. For some reason, I associate some purple car with. Oh, there's purple passion, I guess I associate that with, but I associate with somebody that's in some kind of extremely gearhead or metacog, and this isn't your gearhead or metacog, because you've already said those that other cars are. What would this be? I don't know. Uh hmm. I don't really have any ideas. Uh I mean, I would ask the audience for ideas, but it won't make, make much of a difference since this car's not going to appear again, ever, probably, and this series is about over, so... But hey, we finally unlocked everything, it's nice. Look at the whole circle. Danny doesn't quite fit in, unsurprisingly. I don't know, is there any particular purple car? Oh, we could say it's Silhouette, I guess, since it's just a solid purple car, maybe. There's one idea. Anyways, what time are we at? Uh, like 11 minutes, 12 minutes. More like 11, I think. I think I might cut this episode here and make an entire episode out of the one thing that's left to show. So in that case, that'll be it for this episode. Let's play Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver. I'll see you guys next time next episode when we explore one last thing there is to be explored. Bye, guys.